Hello and welcome. Um, today I'm going to share with you a flow that is essentially I do it these days in the mornings to help my body slowly wake up and relax the stiff, stiffness from the night which is also good for if you are having a very lazy afternoon or very exhausted or tired from work. It is a short but very juicy and very energetic flow. And in the meantime, it is very gentle and very tender because it's designed for the morning. So for those of you who want a very quick relaxation and a boost of energy, this is the flow for you. I hope you enjoy with me on the mat. Now let's start at the end of our mat, kneeling our knees a little bit away from each other, a little bit wide from each other, and we'll come into a wild knee, wild knee child's pose. Deep breaths here. Bring your attentions to the mat. We'll gently start today's flow in this child's pose position. Take the mat over your hands, slowly bend your back, and push through the hands into the ground, chin towards the chest. Round your back and come forward, forward into tabletop. And when you come into tabletop position, move your hips forward and dip your hips down towards the mat. Come into a cobra, high cobra. And from here, gently push your hips back. And exhale, come back into a child's pose. So do this very, very gentle movement of the spine just to wake up the spinal muscles. Your head lifts at the last when you are in cobra pose. You push the hips back. We'll do three times more at your own pace. Do it gentle, do it slow. The last one, when you go forward into a cobra, stay here, lift your chest, open your chest, open your collarbones towards the sky, and gently wave your upper body down on the mat. Press your fingertips a little bit away from your shoulders, wider, wider than the mat, and just Place the fingertips into the ground. Use your upper body strength to lift yourself up into kind of a variated cobra pose and wave your spine down. Go ahead down on the mat, exhale, inhale, lift up into a cobra and wave down, forehead on the floor. That's it. Two more hands. All right, so from here, place the hands underneath your um, shoulders. We'll lift ourselves up into a downward facing dog. Walk out in the downward facing dog, bend one knee at a time. Loosen up the hamstrings. 
or do three rounds of spinal wave, like how we did in the child's pose. So when you inhale, round your spine and come forward into plank pose and slightly bend the knees, not touching the floor. Exhale, lift the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Two more times. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, bend the knees and push the hips up into downward facing. One more time, come forward, 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 inhale, exhale, push the hips up into a downward facing dog. From here, take the inhale, lift your left leg into the sky, bend the left knee, open the hips towards the left. Try to square off your weight on your both hands, so try not push, push most of your weight into your right hand. So balance them out and just do some knee rotations. Open up the hips a few times clockwise and a few times anti-clockwise. Once you are done, lift back up into three left downward facing dog and exhale, bring the left foot all the way between the hands, 45 degrees of the right foot, then the left knee, lift yourself up into warrior, warrior one. Open the chest to the sky, exhale, come into warrior two. Take a big inhale, exhale, reverse warrior. Stay here in the reverse warrior. Feel the side stretch. Long, nice and juicy. And come into a side angle. Your left elbow rests on top of your left knee. But don't dip your shoulder down towards the left knee. Just still maintain the upper body strength and Straighten your left leg, come into a reversed triangle pose. Being very lazy, in a thing, same time energetic. And now let's just shorten the stance between the two feet, or we'll come into a triangle pose. Left fingertips touch the floor. Gaze up to the right hand, very strong lower body, both feet are grounded into the mat. And just a few times wave around the arms. Just imagine like you peeling, like open bow with your right arm and at the top of your movement, cactus the right arm so that you feel more open of your chest. Just a few rounds at your own pace. Don't forget about the breath. And then come into a wide leg forward fold. On the uh, right leg full fold, halfway lift your body and bend your right knee. Come to, to the right side, dip your hip low and then we move to the left. Dip your hip low, bend your left knee like half sporting. And we'll just move our hips side to side. Inhale back to center, exhale dip to the side. And then come to face the back of your mat. Lift your right leg all the way up 
into a three-legged dog. Bend your left knee, bend your right knee, sorry. And a few times rotation with the knee, open the hips to the side. A few times in the other direction. And lift your right leg once again into the sky and bring it all the way in between your hands. Come into a warrior one. Lift your upper body up. Practice your arms. Rotate your shoulders. Do whatever you feel like to open your upper body up. And now we'll come into a warrior two. <sighs> Deep breaths in and out. Now we'll take a breath in, come into a reverse warrior. Stay here. Side stretch on the right side of the body. Side angle. Reach the left fingertip all the way to the other side of the room. Feel like one long line energy from the left fingertip to the left toe. <laughs> Reverse triangle. Straighten the right knee. Exhale, triangle pose. Shorten the distance between your foot. And come to a triangle, gaze up, following the left hand. A few rounds of wave with the left arm. Peel the left hand like opening a bow. Cactus at the top. Just try to open your chest a little bit more towards the sky. And then we'll come into a wide leg forward fold once again. And this time we'll just fall deeper and we'll stay in this wide leg forward fold. Shake your head, yes or no. Release any tensions in the neck area. Feel the reversion of your blood flow back into your spring. This is what you need to pump up your energy and your attention. <sighs> Feeling a lot of oxygen coming into your body by this big movement with big breaths. And now, halfway lift, inhale. And we will dip the hips side to side like we did before. Bend the knee like a half squatting. And now we'll come to the right side and adjust your right heel a little bit. Move the right heel inwards, toes outwards. We'll come into a side squat. Totally straighten your left leg, pointing the left toes up towards the sky. And lift your upper body high. Hook your, uh, your right triceps in the inner side and bring the hands together in prayer or extend the right arms out, um, press the right hand down on the floor, open the chest, open the left arm to the sky. Or option, another option is that you come with your hand in a bond behind you. So externally rotate the left shoulder, open the chest up, Okay, so choose whichever variation you want in this posture. And now release, place the hands down on the mat. We'll just move our hips all the way to the left side. Bring the left heel a little in and left toes out. Sit your sit bone down, not touching the mat. Extend your right leg out and toes pointing towards the sky. Left 
tricep put inside the left knee, push the left knee open in the meantime, and bring the hands into prayer. Or extend both arms, open the chest towards the sky. Or make your bind behind you. Open yourself even more. Do whatever your body is telling you this morning or this afternoon. Do whatever your body feels like. Don't push the limits. Maybe you can do more tomorrow, but today your body is tighter and more stressed, more compressed. So just listen to it. Now we release, place the hands into the mat, and we'll come into a wide leg forward for once again. <sighs> hands at hips, and keep the knees slightly bent. Lift your upper body up to standing. And pointing the toes out, heels in. We'll just play a few rounds with arms lift on to the sky, nice and tall. And dip the hips down, open the knees, cross the hands, like dancing. Inhale, exhale, dip, inhale. So deep. Inhale. Lower the nice of the spine. Exhale. Deep. One last time. In. Energy flow up. And exhale. Now bring the feet together a little closer, uh, but still wider than hip distance. Now we'll slowly bring our hips down, 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 until we come into a yogi squat. You can also keep your toes um, up off the, off the mat, um, place some kind of cushion or towers underneath your heels, or place a block underneath your sit bone. So do whatever that is helping yourself into this posture. So now we will stay in the yogi squat. A few breaths here to pull down in our flow and sit yourself down. Now bring the soles of the feet together, knees open in this round angle pose. Sit up and talk, inhale. Lift your arms up if you want. Exhale, twist yourself to the left. Your right hand outside of your left knee and left hand behind you. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist even more. Inhale back to center, exhale, the other side. Inhale, come back to center, and exhale, or come into an easy sit. So, or release some of our neck muscles, stiff neck muscles, by doing some head rotations. First, we will bend our neck, bend our head, and just to lengthen the back side of our neck by bringing the chin to the chest. Exhale. Inhale, lift your head again. Exhale, bring your head back, lengthen your neck. So, a few times like this, inhale back to center, exhale, bend down, lengthen the back of the neck. A few rounds at your own pace. Now we come back to center, we just bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Side stretch on the left side of the neck. The left hand can reach out. And if you want, you can place your right hand 
on top of your right and left ear and press your head even more towards the right shoulder. Try to reach through your left fingertips. Feel the sensations just bring you, you know? Like explore with your fingertips with the sensations that come along with it. It's kind of interesting. Chin towards the chest, the back side of the left neck, left side, left back side of the neck. And from here, just rotate your head back and to the left and to the right. A few times rotations to the right. And we'll stop on the left side, bring the left ear to the left shoulder, reach out your right fingertips to the side, left hand on the top of your right ear, press down. Chin towards the chest, do the stretch. This side of me is really sore. I don't know why that I constantly feel so sore on my right side of the shoulder and neck. This connecting point. So I really love doing this stretch. Every day a few times. It's really helping me release the neck tensions stored around the neck and shoulder area. Now we'll release the hand and just do a few times rotation to the left. Circle towards the left side. And we'll come back to center. A few times of shoulder rotations. Inhale, strap the shoulder. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, up, and exhale, bring it back. A few times like this. Can do it a little bit faster even. And a few times frontwards. When you bring it down, it's like throwing them off, you know, like throwing the tension out of your shoulders. <gasps> Looks really good. All right, so one last one, <laughs> release. One last inhale, hands up and tall, nice and long, and exhale, bring the hands together. In prayer, bring it to heart center. Namaste. Thank you so much, and I hope you like this flow with me. And um, yeah, I hope you had a good time on the mat with me, as always. Um, so, with that being said, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!